Hello, in this video we're going to solve what is called a rational equation. So, rational equation. So, a rational equation is an equation with one or more rational expressions. Let's go ahead and do a simple example of solving a rational equation. So, solve, let's try something like 5 over x equals 10 over 3x plus 4. We're going to solve this rational equation. That means we're going to find the value of x that makes this equation true. So notice right away that x here is in the denominator, so in the bottom of both rational expressions, of both fractions. And if x were 0 here, that's a problem. Likewise, if x were 0 here, that's a problem because you can never have 0 in the denominator. Remember, the top one is called the numerator. The bottom one is called the denominator. Sometimes I'll say top, sometimes I'll say bottom. By top, I mean numerator. By bottom, I mean the denominator. So in this case, you can see x can't be 0. So keeping that in mind, we're going to go through the solution. So solution. So the way I think about it is we're trying to find x, right? Our final answer needs to be x equals you know, some number. So we need to get rid of all of these fractions. So to get rid of the x here, we can multiply this by x. But here we have a 3x, so we need to multiply by 3x to get rid of the 3x. But check this out. If we multiply by 3x, we also get rid of the x. So let's use 3x and let's multiply both sides of this equation because remember what you do to one side you do to the other. So 3x times 5 over x equals, and then here we're going to have 3x times, and then parentheses, 10 over 3x plus 4. Okay, so plus 4. Be really careful here with the parentheses, right? So again, we had to get rid of the x, so we say, okay, we're going to multiply by x. We have to get rid of the 3x, so we say, okay, we're going to multiply by 3x. But realize that if you multiply by 3x, it gets rid of the x also, so we just go with 3x. Uh, x here is not 0. You can think of this as 3x over 1, and so these would cancel. So we end up with 3 times 5, which is 15, and this is equal to... Here we need to distribute, and I could skip a step or I could show it. I'm going to show it. So this is 3x times 10 over 3x plus 3x times 4. And again, it's, it's 3x over 1, right? These go away. So we're left with 15 equals 10 plus 12x. So subtracting 10 from both sides gives us 5 equals 12x. And then we could divide now by 12. And the reason we divide is because it's being multiplied. I, I did skip a step here, so I subtracted 10. Okay, going a little fast. Uh, and then here, dividing by 12 is going to give us x equals 5 over 12. And that should be the answer. Uh, we could check if we wanted to uh, by taking this number and plugging it in. Um, let's do it. Let's go ahead and grind it out and do it. So I'm going to write it again down here. The original question was 5 over x equals 10 over 3x plus 4. And we're going to check that x equals 5 over 12 is a solution to this rational equation. So we're going to take this and plug it back in here. So let's be careful here. So it's 5 over 5 over 12, right? That's our x, equals 10 over 3 times 5 over 12 plus 4. Okay, that's where we are. Let's come up here, save some room. So 5 over 5 over 12 is really 5 times 12 over 5, right? because division is multiplication by the reciprocal. So those will go away. We'll be left with 12. Here, um, 3 goes into 12 4 times. This is 10 divided by 5 over 4, which is 10 times 4 over 5, and plus 4. So 12 equals. Uh, this goes into 10 twice. 2 times 4 is 8. 12 equals 12. So grinding it out. Hardcore mathematics. So there you have it. 
rational equations. We did that pretty quickly, um, but this is an example of solving a rational equation. And again, a rational equation is an equation with one or more rational expressions. Hopefully this video has taught you a cool piece of mathematics. Take care.